Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Where's My Cabana Boy by Bases Loaded Lacquer. I'll also be using Creative Shop number 17 stamping plate, but let's get into the manicure. I started off with Neltique's Formula 2, and this is Bases Loaded Lacquer. Where's My Cabana Boy? It's a purple that's got tons of fleckies in it and some shimmer. I love it. It's like, I don't know, it's got that real shine factor, you know, that glow, that bling. Uh, loving it. So the first coat's gone on real smooth. It's a little sheer, but nothing crazy. And I don't mind doing coats, you know. Hi, Woody, how you doing? I don't mind doing two or three coats as long as, you know, the polish is playing nice and they're easy to apply. And you see this one's working out pretty good. So that is the second coat. And I am going to go ahead and do a third coat real quick. I just wanted to build it up and make it beautimous. And they are rather thin layers. I'm going to top it with I&M out the door. I'm going to get this to dry down so that I can do some stamping. Got to make sure I got enough top coat on my brush. I didn't load it up good. I am capping my free edges there. There's a swatch photo of it on its own. Creative Shop 17. Now I'm in love with, I'm just, I decided to pick it up and show you all these cool images. This plate, I had so much trouble picking out an image. I really did. I wanted to use all of them. And I'll be using Braves Diva Bases Loaded Lacquer on the black, my Conad Stamper, and my Beauty Scraper. And I just decided to go with this image. Kind of like a bubbly looking image. Oh, I don't have my thumbnail painted yet. Sometimes I do my, my four fingers and then I do my thumb after I'm done. You know, that thumb's tricky. You end up bumping it. And I'm just scraping. And I'm going to do a pickup. And this plate... <laughs> These plates, I haven't had any issues with any of the Creative Shop plates that I've played with. They all are etched really nice. I am cleaning my stamper off on a lint roller, and that plate's getting cleaned with pure acetone. No acetone additive or conditioners or anything. You just want straight up acetone. Because you don't want those oils to get down in the plate and then mess with the polish when you go to use it next time. I've actually had that happen. There we go. Another beautiful pickup. I am going to go ahead and just stamp all of these nails the same. I don't see the point in doing anything different today. I kind of like that it's leaving a lot of the base uh, showing. You know, a lot of that base polish. I want to see where's my cabana boy and enjoy it. But you guys know I'm a junkie and i got to have some kind of art on there. There we go. We're going to get some on that little pinky nail. I am going to hop in here with a little piece of tape and do some cleanup. I really like doing this to avoid having to use so much acetone. Sometimes I have to use none. But here I am with my little cleanup brush. And you can see it's just real minimal after that tape cleanup. Very, very minute cleaning going on here. Of course, I've got dry skin around there, so it's kind of sticking good. I am going to top this with the Smudge Free Top Coat from Maniology. If you've been watching for a while, you know I love this stuff. And once that's totally dry, I'll be topping it all off with some Posh Top Coat. This is my ride or die, I guess. I, I do have others and I do use them, but I always come back to Posh. It's just one of my favorites. Plus, I got a huge jug of it. <laughs> There we go. Cap that free edge. Ta-da! And here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.